Hi everybody, Dr. Morris here wanting to welcome you again to Diverse Learner Competencies and uh, welcoming you to the first week. I've, I've been watching your student introductions come through the discussion board and I've been reading them as they come in and so I'm getting excited about learning a little bit about you all. Um, I realized I feel bad that I completely forgot to put my faculty profile up on Blackboard, so I thought I'd introduce myself to you. Uh, again, Nancy Morris. Um, I've been at Gannon as a full-time professor in early childhood special ed and uh, the grad program for the past uh, seventh year. This is the end of my seventh year. I am um, a Gannon grad three times. I, ha I got my undergrad here. I got my second master's in MPA here, and I just completed my PhD in organization learning and leadership uh, here at Gannon in fall of 2019. So that's very, very exciting to me. Um, I love Gannon, and I love working and teaching here, and I love the students, and um, this is also one of my favorite courses because it is in the principal leadership program, and I have uh, my master's in education administration, and um, a little bit about me, the reason why I wanted to get into administration was um, I really was passionate about leading change within my school and within my programming as a special ed teacher. Um, I felt oftentimes helpless when I saw that there were changes that could be made and things that could be, did, could be done, decisions that could be, that things could be done differently and I didn't have power to do anything about it and my voice wasn't being heard and so I thought well if I get into administration then I can help realize and bring about this change that I see and make these needed improvements um, that I could see needed to be done so that's why I wanted to get into leadership was to help bring about change and to solve problems um, as I am finding out many of you are, are realizing why you want to get into leadership as well so I welcome you all to the class. We have a great diverse class, different grade levels, school systems, um, positions, so that makes for a really interesting conversation. So um, I encourage you as um, you're beginning to dig into the course is to take a look at the final key assessment, which doesn't actually, you don't have to start working on it until week six. I encourage you to look and review the final, the, the full um, assignment description because it will really help you understand what we're doing each week and how it all fits together. This course truly is centered around making your school a case and investigating your school um, as a case study each week. And the final key assessment is, um, a case study analysis paper and it's about your school so each week you are building towards and building your case as you do research interview people at your school and conduct um, an evaluation and analysis of how your school performs um, in relation to the research you're reading so each week as we address a topic you'll research best practice you will gain more information by interviewing people related to that topic, and then you will evaluate um, the, the gap between research in your school and how strong the performance is. Sometimes it'll be very close to research best practice, sometimes you'll find a larger gap. You're collecting all this evidence as we go so that at the end of um, those six weeks, you have an idea of your major areas that need to be worked on, um, and you will conduct a root cause analysis to try to determine exactly why these gaps exist. What is the true root cause of these problems? And then you will uh, create uh, an actionable plan to um, address these, these major problems. And along the way, um, along with research, you're going to be collecting data and student achievement. You're going to be um, uh, evaluating and doing some assessments uh, regarding RTI and MTSS, um, all kinds of things. But if you can begin to approach this course 
knowing that your school is the case each week builds upon each other as you're gathering information. So you're, you're almost doing, you're working on your paper each week. And by the time you get to week six, that is when you're gonna put everything together in a cohesive written format and analyze everything and truly look and see where all of those gaps are that you discovered each week. Try to figure out the root cause of them and then put everything together in a plan. So, I found that if I can lay this out and help my students get into this mindset from the beginning, it really helps them when they get to the end. They don't feel so overwhelmed and they don't feel like they're starting from scratch. Um, it's really important each week um, in the focus guides, they'll start in week two. Again, you get into this habit. Summarize the research is the first part of each focus guide. Second part is describe um, how, what your, how your school performs on that topic and how far they are from the best practice, what the gap is. And the third part is always developing recommendations for change. So I'm trying to, again, get you in the habit and get you thinking about how would you address this, this issue. So again, you're doing some of the work um, ahead, of the time, ahead of time. And so when you get to your final paper, you may go back to your focus guides and see, oh, I, I had this idea back in week three. I think this would be really good and I could use this here in my final plan. Um, so to that point as well, the actual lecture, the online course is two credits and that's the one credit embedded internship. So much of the work that you are gonna be doing in the online course will count towards internship hours. And so while it may feel like you're doing three credits worth of work, you're doing two credits worth of work plus an hour or plus a credit of internship hours which are met through course assignments so each week you have to do interviews um, of individuals in your school that can count towards internship hours um, week three you do um, you analyze uh, your school's rti or mtss uh, plan that can be used towards internship hours um, some of the work in the research you do for your case study can be used towards inter internship hours. And then other inter internship hours are met by um, experiencing other events relevant to special ed, um, attending IEP meetings, attending any kind of data team, student support team meeting, transition meetings, um, any sort of a bit or behavior team type meeting. Um, if your principal has um, some specific uh, jobs that they would like you to do regarding maybe data analysis, working on the action plan, um, working with teachers and doing any kind of uh, uh, curriculum work that could pos that could possibly work. Um, if you are wondering if something counts just email me. Um, there is an internship log that can be found in week one's folder. And you just, it would, I would suggest you fill it out as you go each week. Just log your hours, your principal signs it at the end of the course, and then you turn a scanned copy into me, into a Dropbox in week seven. So that's, that's all from me for today. Um, I hope you all have a great week and um, I'm excited to dig into the course with you. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all on the first week's discussion board. Any questions, always feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I'm available in the evenings at this time and I'll be checking in uh, your work daily, um, but I will answer emails throughout the day. I'm full-time faculty and I'm in the office every day and I'm teaching undergrad courses with this, so I'm always available. So thanks so much, everybody. Looking forward to the course. Take care.